Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In this video, I'll be sharing with you my entire Vera Bradley collection. Now, probably over the last year, I will periodically get people ask me to share my entire Vera Bradley collection. And I finally decided the last time somebody asked me, I really do need to sit down and create a list and share every piece I have with you guys. Because I may share one piece and then talk about another one and you, you don't know if I still have the first one that I talked about. So I sat down with my Erin Condren notebook and created a list of every piece that I have from throws to calculators to traveling bags that I am going to share with you today. Now, I will tell you that back in 2012, I think it was, I had an entire Vera Bradley collection. Most of it was in the Chelsea green pattern. It was a darker green floral print, and I'd had that since probably 2005, and I just decided I wanted something new. So I sold my entire collection, and I slowly at that moment started adding pieces to um, my new collection. So everything that I'm about to share with you, I actually use, it might not be at the same time, but I do use each one of them. And some of the prints I did not know the names of, so I went online and I think I have, yes, I have every, but maybe my beach towels. I have every name of the print but my beach towels. So we're going to start with my home items. Okay, when I say home items, I'm talking about the Vera Bradley throws. Now I have, and I want to say now they sell a larger version of the throw, but the two that I'm going to share with you is actually in the um, original size. And I'm not really sure what that size is, but I have two. My first one that I got was this one right here. And I actually got it monogrammed with my initials. And I've had this one for several years. There it is. And it's got my initials KMM embroidered on the corner. If you can kind of see it. And I did not intend on getting this embroidered. I got this when it was on sale and I had a coupon. And the weekend that I bought it, they were having free personalization. So I decided to get this and try it out. And I really, really loved it. It's very soft, it's cozy. I have washed these several times and they still look brand new. And that is the thing about Vera Bradley products. I keep going back and purchasing more because of the quality. Like the beach towels I'm going to talk about, another nice quality piece. I'm not gonna talk anymore about those because I, I don't wanna repeat myself. But these are excellent. If you've been on the fence about purchasing one, I highly recommend doing it. And the original size, is perfect. I mean, I didn't feel like I needed a larger size even when I saw it even when I saw it available on their website. Now, this print, a lot of the things that I'm going to share with you, they're discontinued prints, but you can still get the item in a different print because I don't buy new ones when new prints come out. This is the Petal Paisley. So, it is one of my favorite Vera Bradley prints. And then the second one my mom got me for Christmas a few years ago, and it is the Moon Drops print. So this is what it looks like. And I'm telling you, I use both of these. Both of these either sit on my trunk in the hallway because I use it in the living room, or I will curl up with it at nighttime in bed. Next up, since I have already mentioned it, I am going to talk about the beach towels. Now, just like the throws, I love their beach towels. And you know, that probably needs to make one of my favorite things list. Over all of the beach, out of all of the beach towels that I have owned in my lifetime, the Vera Bradley beach towels are hands down the best ones I have owned. Now, I know they're about $30 a piece. I would not pay $30 for them, which is why I don't have a new one yet. But if they have a print and it goes on half price and I can get free shipping, I will probably pick up another one or two. Because the two I'm fixing to show you, I have had for a very long time. So I think I've had these since 2012, actually. So I've had these for about five years. So this was the first one that I purchased. And y'all, I forgot is it like Sherbert or something like that? I forgot the name of this 
beach towel. But y'all, I have used these beach towels every time I go to the pool or the beach since 2012 and they wash so well and they still look brand new. Which is why I'm holding off to buy new Vera Bradley ones. I don't want to go out and spend money on something that is going to be probably just about the same price but not as good of quality. So I've got this one and then I purchased this one as well. And you can't really see them if I fold them out. So I like the bright ones. There's one that I really have my eye on right now. And I will pop up a picture of it. It looks like a stamp to me. All the bright colors, I really like it. So that's the one that I really want right now if it ever goes on sale or if I get a nice coupon. So I highly recommend the Vera Bradley beach towels. And <clears throat> you know, when I'm at the beach this summer, they have a Vera Bradley outlet store. So, I'm hoping that they sell the beach towels. I don't even think when I went last year, I even looked to see if they had beach towels. But if they do, I'm going to pick up a few if they're at a good price. Okay, that was basically all of the home Vera Bradley products that I own. So, now I am going to move to the larger luggage type of pieces. Now, I don't have any of the rolling luggage, but I do have some pieces that I do carry along with my rolling luggage. Now, the first one is the one that I would say got me started on the whole Vera Bradley um, collection back when I was in college. I wanted the duffel bag. So, before I got the one I'm about to show you, I had the Chelsea Green, I want to say the medium duffel and the large duffel. Well, when I sold those, I used the money to purchase the large duffel in the print Tutti Frutti. So, this was the first one that I've had of this new collection that I have. And I don't, I just, well, y'all know, you've seen my logo and my blog, mint green and pink, and it's got some gold in it. So, that, I mean, that should tell you why this was my first piece that I owned. And this is what I love about Vera Bradley, too. Not just the outside is pretty, but you open it up and look, there's the print on the inside. And you guys, some of these I have washed. I want to say I've washed this one. Yes, I have washed this one and it still looks brand new. So there's no fading when you wash it. Just make sure I always wash mine on the delicate cycle in cold. Okay? So, or if you have the hand wash cycle. Mine is called delicate on mine. But this was my first one. I still love it. And the great thing about the duffel is... I want to say, I don't know if they still have the small one. I don't know if they discontinued the small duffel, but they have the medium and the large. Here's the great thing about the Vera Bradley duffel. So, if you want to start with something, I would probably start with this. This thing can stretch out so far. I mean, it is very stretchy. I have packed this thing full of stuff to where it is just extremely heavy, and it still looks great. So, I would probably start out with a duffel if you were on the fence about trying a Vera Bradley piece. This is one of the most versatile pieces that I think that she has as well. Okay, next we're going to move to my Get Carried Away tote. And let me tell you about this one. When I first heard about these, I want to say it was in 2012, she had a whole like campaign where they went around with the get carried away totes and I love them but I did not realize how huge they were until I got one so I've got the get carried away tote in the Canterbury magenta this sucker is huge so it's got side pockets and y'all here's the thing just like I told you if you were to fold over the inside is decorated as well. It's all, it's not plain fabric. It's also decorative fabric. The back's got a pocket. The front's got a pocket. So, I've got two pockets on the side and a pocket on the front and the back and it does have a sturdy base, which is good. Now, the inside, I mean, look. Look how huge that is. That sucker is huge. And it's got the matching print on the inside that goes with this. So, usually with Vera Bradley, they will have a print like Canterbury Magenta that there's two fabrics that actually go with that color because normally they kind of match their things. 
So the inside will be one version of that color and then the outside will be another. And this actually does have side pockets as well. I'm just not a big side pocket person. So I usually have pouches within a big um, bag like this but I love this I use this a lot like if I'm going to my mom's or if I'm going somewhere overnight I will just take this bag and my makeup bag and that's it and then my last piece this is my newest traveling large piece that I got I want to say two years ago and it is the Grand Traveler in, let me see, Pink Swirl. And this is what it looks like. It is huge. I mean, it is very large. And I want to say they sell one that's very similar to this. But I can't remember the name of it. But it's a little smaller than this one. I cannot remember. If I could find it, I'll put the, the um, name of the style down here. But this is Pocket Heavy. Okay, you've got this pocket on the front that when you open it up and there's the, I mean, look, even the flap has a, a nice pattern on it. It's got one gigantic pocket and a pocket on the side. The flap protects it. So if you're carrying it, nobody can get into it. Then you've got three pockets on the back. One, two, and three. You've got this nice strap padded strap that you can take off if you want to on the side if you don't want to carry it and then you've got handles and then this gigantic inside and it's got pockets on the side now i took this last summer and it carried all of my beauty and cosmetic things and you're probably thinking man that is gigantic for beauty and cosmetics well i was gone for roughly i think like 11 days when we went to the beach so i had my blow dryer my flat iron all of my makeup all of our family hair care products everything went in here so this is an excellent size bag now it might be if you're just going on an overnight trip it might be a little bit big for that but if you're going on a pretty long trip this would be excellent i feel like but that is the last piece of the larger luggage that i have now i got let me get back to this i got this piece right here the um get carried away tote in canterbury canterbury magenta off of i think it was qvc or my husband did for valentine's day back in 2014 i think he got this for me and it came with the matching ditty bag okay that's what they call it and this is great i feel like for it is lined on the inside this is great for like swimming suits that's what i think of every time i see this so if you're going to the beach or something and you need to change something like this that is fully lined on the inside with a plastic um, lining would be great for anything that even if you have a kid that you know pees on themselves or something if you have a baby this would be great for that what i have used this for mostly for has been for my medication so i will throw my medication in here the bottles and all of that when we go on a trip and then this goes inside of that grand traveler bag so that is um i always use this when i travel okay now i'm going to talk about the only cosmetic that i have i know that might be shocking huh i do have two other cosmetics that i'm going to talk about but i don't use them as cosmetic bags so the only one that i have is this one right here and this is the heather print and this is called the full cosmetic and got some strings on it this is called the full cosmetic now this is what i like about vera bradley and you can see i've really used this i mean look i've got lots of staining right here i use this a lot so i like that vera bradley lines the inside of their bags because i mean if not i probably would have ruined the fabric with that i mean look at that i mean that is straight just staining and y'all have washed this several times and it's just stained so even after some washings this still looks brand new so once again just like i told you about the duffel 
this can fit so much. You can squeeze because this fabric um, spreads out and it um, stretches out. Even though I don't think, I think it's cotton, just plain cotton. I don't think there's any spandex or anything in it. I don't think it says either. But I'm pretty sure it's 100% cotton, the outside is. But it does stretch out to account for a lot of products. So I have used this a lot as a cosmetic bag. So the Heather print is now discontinued. And I don't even know if they still sell the full cosmetic. You might be able to get it in the outlet store or through a site like eBay. But I really do like this cosmetic bag. Now, staying with the cosmetic theme, I am going to talk about the two cosmetics that stay in the very back of my vehicle. Right now, I am driving a Nissan Rogue, so I have the whole back area of my vehicle that I have for like safety and emergency things. So the first thing that I have for an emergency item is this right here. You just saw this print. It's the Heather print, and it is the medium hanging organizer. So, if you pull it out, this is, oh, Lord, I've got it open. Hold on. This is what it looks like if you fold it on out. Let me stretch back so you can see it. So, it folds up, but you can hang it as well. So, this is basically like my little beauty emergency kit. So, I've got panty liners. I've got nail clippers, and there's tweezers somewhere in here. I have a little first aid kit, a tied to go, a pad, some lotion, a lint roller, some wipes, and some, oh, a hairbrush, and some dental floss. And here's what's funny about this. When I put this in my car, I thought, I'm not ever going to use these things. I'm telling you, the weekend after I put this in there, I already had to get out the Tide to Go for my aunt who spilt something on her shirt when we were going to a play. So this has came in handy. I have had to pull, I did have some rubber bands in here. I need to replace those. But I have used the hair ties. I have used the panty liners. I have used several things out of this little organizer that's been in the back of my vehicle. So if you don't have an emergency little kit like this for beauty, I highly recommend getting one. And I will put the link to my video below where I talked about what everything, where I talked about what all I have in this. Now, in addition to that, in the back, I have this neoprene organizer in Flower Power. Now, this was one of those kind of, I think I had to purchase something on Vera Bradley, and I was a little bit short from getting free shipping. So, I found this and liked the print for some reason. Even though the print is something that normally I don't gravitate towards these colors, but for some reason, I really liked it. So what I have in this is, it's a little emergency kit. And I have basically some things like some triple antibiotic, some Kleenex, some gauze. So this is just a little tiny first aid little kit in here. Let's see what else I have in here to share with you. I did have some ibuprofen in here. Oh, a ton of Band-Aids. So Band-Aids. I have some Dramamine for my kids that y'all didn't even know was in here. I hope that's still good. Hmm. I might need to replace this one. But Dramamine. And that is it. So basically this just has a little bit of some first aid items just in case we need a band-aid or, or some ointment when we are on the road. Now we are to my everyday carrying type of items. My purse or my handbag and things that go inside of that. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about, I am going to talk about is my lanyard. Now I have not used this yet, even though I have talked about it, but because I still use my other one, my Vera Bradley ones. You guys, if you are ever looking for a lanyard, I highly recommend the Vera Bradley ones. Now this one is a Mickey one. Vera Bradley does work with um, Disney to create products that you can only get through the Disney store. And this is, I don't know the print name, but I'm going to make sure to put it below. But let me show you what it, that right there. So this is probably going to be the lanyard that I'll use for next school year. So I still use the Vera Bradley one that I had a few years ago. I want to say... Um, 
African Violet was the name of it. But this one, for the first time, I've got one that's a breakaway lanyard. So usually when I get them, they don't have these little clamps right here that you can take apart and back one. So, but I love the Vera Bradley lanyards. Every time they mess up, I will purchase a new one. Now, next we're going to talk about my newest purchases that I have talked about most recently. The first one was a Christmas present from my mom, and it is the Vera Bradley Ultimate Crossbody in the Cognac color. Absolutely love this, and I'm not using it right now. I switched out, but I mean, look at the print on the inside. I absolutely love that. That was the one great thing about this. The second one was the fact that I felt like it was a wristlet. I'm a wristlet girl. And a wristlet with a crossbody strap, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. So I absolutely love this. I carried it for several months, but decided just to kind of rotate out because I had several new wristlets that I had. So I absolutely love this one. And then to match this for my birthday, I've talked about this as well and actually did a what's in my bag video. So in the description below, I'll have links to all of these things that I'm talking about. To match that, I bought myself for my birthday this, I think it's Layton, the Layton backpack in the cognac color. So this matches my ultimate crossbody. Oh, Excuse the lanyard. So I'm actually using this right now. I love this bag. I cannot, I cannot rave enough about this right here. I've been using it for the past couple of months and I love, love, love it. And just like the Ultimate Crossbody, I mean, look at the interior. I mean, you open it up and it's not an, a boring bag on the inside. I absolutely love it. And I want to say in the front too, I mean, look, the little small pocket in the front too, look, it's got the fabric as well. And I use this back pocket quite often. I love this feature about the bag too. The back underneath the straps, it has this little pocket. Let me move the straps. It has this little pocket right here that is lined with the fabric. This makes an excellent phone pocket. So let me find that. So you guys, if I am going somewhere shopping or something and I don't want to hold my phone, I will put my phone in this pocket right here. I have a six and it is in an otter box and it fits perfect. You can't even see it. And no one is going to take it because I always wear this backpack on my back. So my phone is actually against my back so nobody can steal it. So I absolutely love this bag. And the last time I was on there, I don't know. I hope they're not discontinuing this. I hope they're just coming out with new colors. I looked and the remaining colors that they had were 50% off plus. So check out that website. I will leave a link below if it's still available. But I did not purchase this off the Vera Bradley site. I actually called a store um, the day before my birthday, because they had sold out of this color, I waited too long on the internet and had them ship it to me, and they shipped it to me for free. So, I highly recommend this bag. Now, the last piece in my Vera Bradley collection is actually in this bag, and it is, let me find it, it is my Vera Bradley calculator. You guys, I love this little calculator. I have used it for probably probably since 2012, 2013, I bought this calculator and it was not, it was on clearance for like $2. And it was one of those situations to where I was purchasing a few things and I needed to spend a few more dollars to get free shipping. And I was like, I'll get that calculator. Now I love this calculator. They have discontinued it and it's like 30 plus dollars on eBay. So it makes me really upset because I would love to get another one. But I'm not paying $30 for a calculator. I mean, really. So I really do like this. So if you can find this like in an outlet or something, definitely snatch it up. It makes a great little calculator for your purse. And you guys, that is it for my entire Vera Bradley collection. I hope you have enjoyed seeing all of the pieces that I currently have in my collection. Make sure you check the description below for links to videos and all the products that I have talked about. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you all have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.